live from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube, covering VTUG's New England Winter Warmer 2016. Now your host, Stu Miniman. Welcome back to theCUBE. I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon.com. We are here at the 2016 VTUG Winter Warmer at Gillette Stadium, home of the New England Patriots, and very excited to have a Patriot Hall of Famer, three-time Super Bowl champion, number 80, Troy Brown. Troy, thank you so much for stopping by. No, man, thank you for having me on, I appreciate it. All right, so, so, so Troy, you know, we, we got a bunch of geeks here, uh, and, and <laughs> they, 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 we talk about, you know, the, the, their jobs are changing a lot, and mm -hmm. you know, the, the question I have for you is, you did so many different jobs when you're on the Patriot, you know, how do you manage that? How do you go about that from a mindset? I mean, I think so many of the jobs you did were so specialized, and everybody spent years doing it, yet, you know, you excelled in a lot of different positions. Well, I think, first of all, I think uh, the coach, Bill Belichick, you know, I think he does a good job of, of evaluating his, his people and his players and the people that work for him. And, and the thing about him, he never asks an individual to do more than they can handle. And uh, I think I was one of those individuals that he saw that could, you know, didn't get rattled by too many different things. I didn't get, uh, seemed like I was overwhelmed at any moment with the job that I was at already asked to do. And if I had to do multiple jobs, then I would probably be one of those guys that could handle that, uh, that type of situation. So it started with him and then me, I guess it was just my personality and my work habit and my, and my work ethic and just uh, never letting uh, the opponent know that I was uh, a little bit shaken, a little bit weary, a little bit tired at times and I just continued to chip away and do my job. And, uh, you know, and I took a lot of pride in being able to manage and do a lot of different things at one time and, uh, and, and really excel at it. Yeah, so you, you saw the transformation of the Patriot organization. I mean, you know, it, it, great organization here in New England, but you know, we, we were living in a phenomenal time for the Patriots o over the last 20 yes, years. Yes. And what, what do you attribute that, that transformation to? Well, I think it started, you know, you look at when Robert Kraft bought the team in 94, which yeah. I was here a year before he bought, yeah, bought yeah. the team in 93. I was drafted with Drew Bledsoe and Parcells uh, the first year. And that, uh, and that really, Parcells really kind of got people around here excited about football. I think for the first time they were having, you know, capacity crowds at training camp out at Bryant College, yeah. something they never did before. I mean, you're talking about a team that won two games the year prior. They were yeah. two and 14, I think, under, with Scott Zolak winning those two games in 1992. So you bring in a guy that's, you know, won a couple Super Bowls with the Giants, high profile guy, gets everybody excited about the possibility of winning. And I think things started to change then. And then you bring in a hands-on owner because I believe James Arthurwine was the previous owner that he bought the team from and lived in St. Louis. It can't be hands-on when you, you know, live, you know, half the country away from uh, from here. So uh, he bought the team and bought the uh, local guy. And again, the enthusiasm goes through the roof and expectations are through the roof. We make the playoffs in 1994 and, you know, the things happen, they don't get along. And then what, you go through another coach, Pete Carroll, for three years and you bring in Belichick and he, he drafts a young quarterback by the name of Tom Brady. And, you know, those types of things, those people, those guys, able to handle different things and different jobs as well. Yeah. You know, and you couple that with you surround them with good people like myself, uh, David Patton, Antoine Smith, Ty Laws, or the Lawyer Malloys, the Rodney Harrison, the guys that kind of embody the Patriot way. And you get what you have today. And it all started with the fact that Mr. Kraft and Bill Belichick now have been together what 15, 16 years. Yeah. And I think you look across the NFL, across any sport, you don't see the type of longevity and the type of uh, continuity that those who have, and you throw on Tom Brady into that mix who's been along for that entire ride as well. You just don't, you're not going to find that in any other sport, any other team. Maybe a couple here, you know, the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah. You know, and longevity, I believe, it is the key, and you have to build that. You know, see, so you see too many owners that throw in the towel too quick. Yeah. You know, with the young coach that's trying to build a team and a system. Yeah. So I, I have to ask you, if you had to choose one for 15 years, Brady or Belichick? <laughs> for 15 years? Yeah. 15 years, maybe Brady because. You know, it eventually it would come to an end. Yeah. You know, Belichick can probably coach on and on and on and on for longer than 15 years. But if you had to choose one for 15 years, I guess I'd go with Brady. But, you know, I don't think, I don't know if one works without the other. 
Yeah. You know, so that's that's kind of that would be a question that yeah. people will be asking for many, many years to come. Yeah. So personally for you, when you look back at your career, you know, a, a, any favorite moments that they have? I mean, there's so many. Just so many. For the franchise, yeah. for yourself. I mean, I, I, I can think of all the, the ones that I, I, yeah, I had I had the pleasure to see. That was a big punt return against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, yeah. Our AFC Championship I, I, game. I, I know, know it well. Super Bowl to <laughs> start off the scoring for us. Yeah. Uh, that was a big moment. Um, uh, yeah, the, the strip in 06, yeah, even though we the, didn't win the Super Bowl that year, uh, kept us San alive. Diego. It was a big play yeah. you know, to get us into the AFC Championship game. Yeah. Uh, this is all the Super Bowls that we were a part of and then were able to win. You know, all those moments are just so uh, treasured and valued by me that it's kind of hard to place uh, place one over the other. But, you know, it was all uh, a lot of great and fantastic moments for us. All right, so uh, last question I have for you. Looking at the Patriots today, what, what, what's your prediction for the Patriots uh, You know, going on in the playoffs here, going to the AFC Championship? Well, I think it'll be a difficult task. Denver's not been a, a friendly place for the Patriots over the history of this franchise, yeah. not just now. Yeah, but yeah, any it, it any specifics been, as to why it's so tough to I, play I, there? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, you can say the altitude, but we've been out there and we play well at times. Even this team this year, they played well the first time they went out there, had an unfortunate uh, drop punt, you know, that kind of changed the uh, complexity of the game, and, and things just changed. I mean, it, it's the, that's the kind of luck that we had. The last time I played out there was, I think, 05, I think, or something in the divisional round, and I fumbled, Kevin Falk fumbled, Tom Brady threw a pick six, basically, and it was like, you know, three of your most dependable players that turned the football over and didn't play well, you know, and how often that would that happen? So Rob Gronkowski gets hit, hit in the knee this year, so and then lose him for a couple games, and yeah. the season starts to turn. So just so, so many unfortunate things that happen out there. But uh, you have to give Denver a lot of credit as well because you know they they come out and they play hard. They have a, a really good defense, uh, a quarterback that can be really good. You know he's a game manager at this point in his career. Does a great job of doing it. You know and they seem to rally behind his presence on the field. So it'll be a tough task for the Patriots, even though I think. The Patriots do have the better football team overall. It's just been a difficult place for the New England Patriots to get wins yeah. uh, in the past. So, so do you have a matchup for the Super Bowl that you're picking? Uh, I'm, I'm picking the Patriots for sure. And from what I saw from Carolina last week, I got to go with Carolina playing at home against Arizona. I think that defense is just too tough. And Cam Newton and, and that run game, and offense, that offensive line has just been uh, been pretty remarkable and surprising after losing probably their the best offensive weapon to Kelvin Benjamin. Yeah. So yeah, well, they, well, you, you know a little it. something about a Carolina uh, versus uh, you, you know, New England Super so. Bowl, so hopefully things will turn out like it did last time. Troy, really appreciate you stopping by. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining appreciate us for the program. Uh, we'll be right back here with a wrap-up of the Cube's coverage of the VTUG 2016 Winter Warmer. Thanks so much for watching.